Hi, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people actually want to start um, a mini grow heart pond, but couldn't do that. It's not because they don't have the money. It's only because they want something small. So I'm going to be showing you how you can construct a grow heart pond at your backyard or wherever you wish to do that. So just take a look at here is my backyard so in here I store my already used fish those are the ones I used for my hatching uh, recently so I store them in here and uh, I actually have two of it the dimension is uh, in terms of depth is uh, three feet deep and um, in terms of uh, wideness is six feet so just stick, stay tuned because i'm going to be showing you how to do it all right so this is how it looks and uh, you can actually give this to any um, weather around you any fabricator they can fabricate this i just uh, woke up one day and i decided to use this method and it worked so can you see that's the uh can i say the thickness now the thickness i think that's around uh, less than four inches i am not sure i'm not sure so that's how it looks. It depends on how you want your pond to be um, the length. But uh, we always advise, don't let it be too long since you are not going to be using metal rod. So you can use this same method. I just told you the dimension is, uh, I think, 3 feet by 6 feet. So of outlets I use here, I will not advise you use it. Therefore, uh, you will need to fix your horn around the bottom part here we am touching that is where you are going to fix your own and how you are going to do it take a look at it mix your concrete you don't necessarily need a meter for for the concrete so you just mix your sand and cement mix it together in the right proportion while I was constructing that one, I made use of one cement for three, three of these things, so that the uh, the body will be strong. That is why I use it for just three. So now, uh, in your own case, if you want to create a hole, especially for two inches pipe, I'm holding two inches pipe. So before you pour the concrete or maybe when you are pouring the concrete already, you can just look for a small uh, piece of the pipe, whichever pipe you want to use. If you are using two inches pipe, you can cut like uh, a feet, a foot rather. So cut it like this and you just place it like this at one corner or wherever you want to create a hole. So this hole is going to serve uh, a purpose of um, your discharge. I hope you understand. So right here, in here, you are going to fill it with concrete. So once you fill it with concrete, maybe uh, before the concrete adding up, you can gently remove this pipe by twisting it gently like this. Then you remove it. I hope you understand so that is how you construct it and make sure uh, the following day after making the concrete you wet it with water just to enhance the strength that's the essence of you wetting it with water so once you are able to do that like after a week of constructing your concrete you can now lift it but <laughs> it's going to be heavy so it's not advisable you lift it alone you can look for two other people otherwise it's going to break but if you don't want it to break you can now buy metal rod 
put it in between before the concrete solidifies so with that you'll be fine but it's not necessary it's not necessary so far you can lift it gently it will not break i hope you understand so that is how to do it and once you have done that you can just uh, make the four corner or whichever design you want to make use of so just take a look at my own so here is my own as you can see it has four corners so in this case i made use of i think seven one two three four five six and seven to make two different ponds i hope you understand so that's how you do it and as for the plumbing works is something you can do that's how i laid my horn can you see of course this was when i first started i've improved <laughs> beyond this and this is my own discharge can you see that's the second one for the other one but uh, in your own case i don't want you to make your discharge to look like this instead put your discharge here and that is why i said you are going to need a pipe so you are going to put the pipe before the concrete solidifies because once it solidifies uh, it's not advisable you use armor on this if you use armor it's going to break and as you can see look at these patches the patches came into being as a result of uh, this thing shattered it's broken into two while trying to lift it while trying to lift it alone yeah alone and that is why i said you should look for two other people to lift with you so that it will not break as you can see the other ones did not break so that is how to do it and with this with less than it's going to save you a lot of money you will not be spending up to the amount you're going to be spending if you are to use block and this is very rugged very very rugged so ladies and gentlemen i just showed you how you can do that but if eventually you want to make use of block you can actually do that as well they will serve the same purpose but this one it uh, retains water faster than you using block because even if you are going to use block you will need to add concrete into the block exp uh, apart from the fact that um, the block will also have to suck your water <laughs> but this one once you pour in water it retains easily so that's the advantage another advantage apart from the cost so guys if you have not subscribed to this channel feel free to subscribe i will not collect it down from you let's learn together peace out bye